So if there's one thing that drives me crazy whenever I buy a new MacBook is over time, it just accumulates clutter and junk. And I just want to get rid of it without a lot of hassle, without even guessing whether a file should be deleted or not. And that's what this video is all about. So recently, the guys from Mac Cleaner Pro reached out to me and told me, hey, you do tech videos, especially Apple products. Why not reviewing our Mac Cleaner Pro software? And I thought, yeah, why not? This video is not sponsored by these guys, but they send me a code that I can use to review their software so let's do just that so if i go to my system settings and i go to general storage i bought this macbook with 500 gigabyte of storage now the deal is some applications take storage that's normal nothing new under the sun here we find out that i use around 200 gigabyte of storage out of the 500 this macbook contains and out of that 200 gigabyte of storage, over 40 gigabyte of storage is system data. So what is this system data storage that my computers creates? And this is ballooning up over time. It's in about four months, I guess it will be double of this, this amount. And it's going up all the time. My limited warranty expires the 23rd of November, 2023. That's in about a couple of months. That means I bought this MacBook just recently, just in November, 2022. So I have this MacBook for around four months and already we see that that system data was 41 gigabyte as of now and, it, and it's going to 42. So is there anything I can do to solve this problem? So let's hope this Mac Cleaner Pro software will come to the rescue. If I open the software, it gives me a clean look. Right out of the bed, I see I have this bar here that tells me how much gigabyte my storage is using for everything. So the system is using 141 gigabyte applications are using 55 gigabyte there are duplicate files that i can get rid of i'll talk about that in a moment some documents movies music pictures and archives so i see here a gigantic button that says fast cleanup and there's 18 gigabyte of junk files right now the computer is using 40 percent of memory usage i guess this is the ram usage so if i click on this button it gives me a confirmation junk files will be removed to free up space on your Mac. So let's start doing so. And right here, we see something that's loading up. I guess now the software is doing its thing, removing all that junk file. And according to the system, I have 18 gigabytes of those junk files. So I'll fast forward this video and I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, it took about two minutes to clean up almost 15 gigabytes of junk. And it gives me like an overview of what it has done it removes that 15 gigabyte of junk. The application logs are also removed. There, my RAM is optimized. And if you don't know what RAM is, let me explain it real quick. It's basically the memory that your computer is using right now to store all that software that's running on the background. So I have this software, for example, it is made up out of bytes and, that, and those bytes need to be stored somewhere to make this software running. Well, RAM is responsible for that. If it's all clocked up if there's a lot of software running on the background your computer will start moving very slowly so it's a very good idea to keep that in mind now just 37 percent is used of that ram memory meaning the software optimized some percentage i'm not sure how much uh, but it did so if i click ram is the type of computer memory okay so it gives me just an explanation the trash bin is also cleaned up okay so that's a thing that you need to keep uh, your eyes on because if you have something on your trash and you let the software do its thing it might clean up something that you want to return back so keep that in mind safari cache files okay so nearly two gigabyte of caches of junk are removed from safari does that mean that my passwords and my history of safaris are removed i'm not sure let's find out okay it knows because I visited these websites in the past, like YouTube, I visited YouTube in the past, so it gives me a suggestion. If the history is all removed, I wouldn't get this suggestion. So it just removes junk without removing your history. So that's a good thing. So let's click on this retry to see what it exactly does. Now it's all removed. So 15.8 gigabyte of junk is successfully removed let's close this up so it also gave me this suggestion to deep clean my macbook so i can click on that let me click on it so those caches are all removed so there's nothing there language files okay so let's click on it so this option will remove unnecessary language files that's a good thing mail attachment okay so there is something i want to say about it you need to be very careful 
of the male attachment that you are about to remove because that means that some attachments will be removed forever so now i'm scrolling through this list and already i can see that there are some things i don't need there's this video of mine i guess i'll i'll save that but all of these things are files i'm not i'm not gonna use a lot and they are just there in my mac i didn't know about this all so there is a lot of stuff in here that can be removed you can just glance over it scroll through all these files and think okay so there's a lot of things i can just remove without me losing some important stuff okay so if you select it here you can just scroll through this list and deselect the things that you don't want to have removed so that's a good thing i very like this this option so let's deselect that because i'm gonna do this after this video um i will go through all these files to see what files i need and what files i do not need there's also something in the downloads it's just 11 megabytes not a lot of a lot some screenshots i can get rid of and purgeable space, almost a gigabyte of purgeable space that can be removed. So it says here disk space, which keeps the files that were downloaded then removed. This disk space is marked as used. You can clear that to free up disk space. Okay, so I guess I'll just clean up this purgeable space. And that's it for now. I don't want to remove a lot of things. So you have the full control over this software. I do like that, that aspect about this software. You can remove the stuff you want or just keep it there and come back to it at a later time to review it one more time so let me review and clean this up okay remove it in about two minutes i'm not kidding guys in, in about two minutes it cleaned up like 7.5 gigabyte of junk that's incredible so let's close that up but there's more i can even speed up my mac i've explained what ram is to you guys so it says that nearly 14 gigabyte of ram is used that can be optimized let's go and select that you can re-index your spotlight re-index your email startup apps those are the applications that automatically start up whenever you turn on your macbook so have you ever know about adobe that it starts all of these things without you knowing that it seems like adobe is starting a lot of things also google microsoft so all these applications are just starting applications on the background without you even noticing that and that slows up your computer so you can select that and all these applications will be turned off obviously i'm not recommend you to do that to do that with all your things because like google drive i have google drive on my mac and i would like to have that running on the background whenever i'm saving a file i want to save it also on my google drive so you have once again you have the full control over that you can just deselect stuff like google chrome or google drive magnet that's an application that let me do this this stuff like you see here i can make this bigger or i can just move it to the side to the left side or the right side so i i, I don't want this application to uh, turn off magnet there's also Microsoft Auto Update, Spotify. Basically, you can select and deselect whatever you want. All this other stuff, I want to have it turned off. There's our internet plugins on your browser that can be purged. A browser extension, heavy application. That's nearly four gigabyte of heavy applications that are using RAM right now without me noticing it. And Google Chrome is using a lot of RAM. I mean i'll just leave it for now my mac has 32 gigabyte of ram if your mac has like 16 gigabyte of ram i highly recommend you to turn off a lot of these uh, applications that are running on the background especially adobe because i'm not using adobe a lot if you are a heavy adobe user just leave it on but if you're not just turn it off you don't need that so review and speed up okay speed up once again this function will not get rid of those op applications they will just speed up your uh, computer by turning them off and whenever you need them you can just go ahead and turn them on again so you can just go to your application and go to illustrator or microsoft outlook or whatever application you want you can just start it up so congratulations speed up successfully complete uh, we can go to the details that shows me exactly what applications are are turned off right now 
but uh, we just explained that and I can go and dive deep into this Mac and see what applications I need and whatnot. Right out of the bat, I see movie files. I'm not sure what movie, oh, maybe those are the YouTube videos I've created and I have never looked at it again. There are definitely some applications or some videos that can just be removed without me losing anything, but that's something I'll uh, review in a second. Obviously, you can select it one by one. It seems like there's no options to select them all. Maybe they want you to go over those files just to be sure you're not removing something you don't want to remove. So that's a good thing. Music files. Now, I, I guess I'll leave those music files because those are uh, sound effects I'm using for my videos. Pictures. I can remove some pictures applications that 55 gigabyte of applications those applications are basically applications you have on your mac so be careful with that you don't want to remove an application that you are using on a daily basis so that's a cool thing but they have also this tools area and i haven't told you yet if you go to their website and i'll leave a link in the comment section below you download this mac cleaner pro and right out of the bat you get these applications as well so you get this app cleaner, we get this disk space analyzer, duplicate file finders, and fonter. But if we go back to the software and we open any of these tools, launch duplicate file finder, that's the exact same application we just saw in a moment. So yeah, my Mac asks me if I want to open it. It's very safe, we can open it, accept it. And right from here, we can see if there are any duplicate pictures, applications they have found so i can start scanning and the software will do the rest for me it asks permission to have access to some files i'll just give them that permission so icloud is icloud is a topic i need to make a a separate video about because a lot of people think that their files that are stored in their iCloud are literally in the cloud they are not on it's not on their Mac but that's not the case so I'm just gonna skip this for now okay so right now it gives me like all things that can be deleted and according to the software are duplicates of these files I'm not gonna delete these you need to go through all of these files because you might be deleting a file that you might need so be very careful with that. I'm sure I want to go back. I don't want to de delete that for now. I need to go over it to be sure if those files are purgeable or not. They have also this picture, duplicated picture. They see if there's a picture that's duplicated. They, the software recognizes whether the picture is duplicated or not, or not by its name and the size of that picture. And believe me, you have a lot of duplicated pictures in your Mac. So yeah, go over those pictures. And if you have any duplicate pictures, just get rid of those. Music and folders. You can even organize and merge folders into together uh, to uh, have an efficient way of organizing your stuff. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to leave that up application. This duplicate finder tool is awesome and it founds 404 megabyte of duplicate stuff it's not a lot but it is something app uninstaller that's a tool on its own if i launch this app cleaner and uninstaller that's this one right here okay so i get a guide on how to use all this stuff we don't need this guide so we can just close that and right out of the bat it gives me like a list of apps that are duplicated like this Adobe After Effects. It seems like it seems like Adobe After Effects has two applications. That's the render engine. If you're not familiar with that, don't stress over it. Adobe Audition. So you can uninstall applications right from here. Because if you go to your so if we go to find the applications, and let's say I want to delete this Google Sheet. So I press command backspace and it asks me if I want to fill in my password i hit okay so now google sheets are deleted but right here we see that we need to uninstall it properly because despite you deleting that applications application it leaves some junk in your computer so go ahead and uninstall it and scan for any junk it scans all the stuff that it leaves behind and since it's a very small application, it has uninstalled that applications for us. So like that, you can just go over all these applications. And if you don't want to have any of these applications, you can just uninstall it right from here because that's the better way to do so. Some startup programs, that's basically the same thing that we saw a minute ago. All these applications are starting up 
whenever you start your MacBook and that can clog up your RAM. So just go over it. Extensions, those are the browser extensions that are using your memory. So you might be wanting to use those extensions like Honey and Bear and Todoist and all these extensions. So I'm not gonna uh, remove all these extensions because I need them. Remaining files. Okay, so there's like six gigabyte of files that I can get rid of. That's a lot. And I didn't know that all these files are on my MacBook. So I think I'm gonna remove all these files because it doesn't seem I'm need I am in need of any of these files. So just go ahead and remove all of that. And once again, like a pop-up that, that that tells me what files it will be delete. All these files seem to be some plugins and Adobe files as always. Okay, so just remove all of that. The application needs to be closed before removal. Okay, so NordVPN. I still have NordVPN on my Mac despite me deleting this application like two months ago. So that's why this software is very handy. So let's go ahead and hit continue. But the thing is, I don't see it. Just terminate that application for me. Let me fill in my password real quick. Okay, so if you're not seeing that application, it will terminate it for you. Once again, I can't stress this enough. Be careful with the applications and the files that you are deleting with this software. So we can just go ahead and uh, show the details. What applications have you uh, removed? But that's not necessary for now. And that's Mac Cleaner Pro. If I can rate it in a scale of 1 to 10, I'll definitely give it a solid 9. This software is amazing. Let's go back and see. So almost half of that system data is removed from my MacBook. So you might be thinking, but you still have system data there. Well, that's not something you need to stress about because you need to have a little bit of system data that just support all those applications that are running on the background and on your computer. Applications do create junk. That's something you need to live with. And this software is a handy tool that you can have in your Mac to just have control over that junk. So definitely I'll give him a solid nine. If you want to try this software for yourself, go ahead and download this software. I'll leave a link in the comment section below. So you can download this software for free and use it to see if it's something for you or not. So go ahead and use this software. It's very handy. I really liked it and I definitely recommend it for your MacBook. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Like always, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with someone who is in need of cleaning their Mac. Subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot. And I'll see you in the next one.